Hi fellow travelers, and it's me, your travel angel. Welcome back to Angel's Video Diary. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a quick tour around Houston, Texas. Yeah, let's find out things to do in Houston, Texas. So this trip was actually part of my birthday trip and for us to be able to visit my mom in Texas, we also got to visit New Orleans. But before I talk about our trip to New Orleans, allow me to share with you our quick tour around Houston. You know, one of the things I love about Houston is the street art or murals. If you only have a few hours to explore Houston, then I recommend that you stop by the Greetings from Houston mural. It is located on the side of a gelato shop, which I've never been to, but I know I have to try it one of these days. I've been here several times and it's you know, it's always nice to get a souvenir photo from this place. Plus, it's free and you can spend about 10 minutes taking photos here. Also, free street parking is available in the area. Now, another spot that you should also check out is the We Love Houston sign. It's also a perfect location to get a souvenir photo here in H-Town. The only thing is that you have to pay for parking here. And how much? Well, it all depends on how long you're staying. Also, it might be hard to get a parking spot on the weekends. It's also better to visit during the week. Plus, this is near Minute Maid Park, so it will be even harder to find parking if there's a baseball game. And speaking of Minute Maid Park, which is home to the Houston Astros baseball team, you can also watch a baseball here at Minute Maid Park. Well, if that is your thing, or maybe, you know, just for the experience. And I got to watch the Astros back in 2019. They didn't win that game, but Springer hit a home run that day, which was really cool and fun to see. And just behind the We Love Houston sign is 8th Brewery, where you will find this giant beetle statue. Have a look. You know, one of the things I miss about Houston is the food, especially Mexican food. You can find delicious Mexican food just about anywhere in the city. One of the best places I would recommend is Tierra Caliente. And it's actually a food truck. It's not even a restaurant. I really love their barbacoa with corn tortilla. It's one of my favorite items on their menu and it's oh so good. The only thing is that they don't sell drinks here, so you will have to buy it at the convenience store or at the restaurant across the street, which by the way, what I did. We were also gonna go to BAPS Shri Swaminarayan Mandir, but unfortunately they were closed when we went there and we couldn't wait that long, so we just left. But allow me to show you our quick experience from the last time we visited this place. So enjoy! And by the way, make sure you're not wearing anything revealing because this is a sacred, a holy place. So they encourage guests to wear proper attire. This is definitely a beautiful and serene place to visit and a perfect location to take photos as well. So we didn't get to visit a lot of places during this trip, but I've explored Houston so many times. And I also wanna share with you some of my favorite and some of the best places to go in Houston. First, let's check out the parks, and this city is full of them. And one of the places I'll never get tired of visiting is Herman Park, which is the first public park in Houston. Here you'll find gardens, a reflecting pool, and an open air theater, and also a perfect location for photo opportunities. And next is the Gerald D. Hines Water Wall Park, which is famous for its 64 foot water wall. And by the way, make sure to call the number on your screen before you decide to visit this site because it may be closed due to maintenance or maybe repair. 
And right in the heart of the city is Sam Houston Park. It's like standing in the middle of an oasis overlooking high-rise buildings and modern architecture. This is also where you'll find seven historic homes known as the Heritage Society. Well, it's a nice place to walk and also journey back in time. They also have museum and historic tours here, which is available every Tuesday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And by the way, limited free parking is available here, but they do have a parking garage, which unfortunately you have to pay. Now, if you're a fan of Alice in Wonderland, you should definitely check out the Move One Place On sculpture. And this sculpture is located at Evelyn's Park Conservancy. So prepare to join the tea party. If you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed, make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I would post a new content. Now this next park is quite small, but it's actually a great photography spot. Welcome to Helen's Park. This is a lovely garden to relax and enjoy nature with beautiful water features. It's definitely a hidden jewel here in Houston. So our next stop is located in a quiet residential neighborhood. Street parking is available in the area. So if you love mosaic art, then you will enjoy your visit here at Smither Park. Admission is free and it is open every day from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And you can also visit museums here in Houston if you are into aviation, maybe you enjoy it, or probably you're just curious to learn about the history of air travel, then the 1940 Air Terminal Museum should be on your list of what to do in Houston. The museum is located on the west side of Hobby Airport and admission is only $5 per adult with tours that are led by volunteer docents. The building actually served as the municipal airport for Houston, which opened its doors to the public on September 28, 1940. And by the way, the museum is open every Tuesday to Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and they're closed on Mondays. Make sure to check out their website to plan your visit regarding holidays and more. Now located at the Museum of Fine Arts is the Lily and Hugh Roy Sculpture Garden. The garden was created by Isamu Noguchi. The sculpture definitely reminds me of the Bean or Cloud Gate sculpture in Chicago. And by the way, the closest museum parking is the underground garage. You know, just in case you can't find a street parking around the area. And near the Lily and Hugh Roy Sculpture Garden is the Meckham Fountain. You can drive around it or stop by and take pictures, but just be careful crossing the street as it is located in a busy area. And just take a look how stunning it is. It definitely is a gorgeous intersection here in Houston. This sacred art space that I'm about to show you, known as the Rothko Chapel, has been serving its guests since 1971. And what makes this place unique is the broken obelisk sculpture with a reflecting pool located in front of the chapel. Now, if you ever decide to go inside, make sure to stay or remain as quiet as possible. So inside, it's gonna be really dark. There's little amount of light and there are paintings on the wall and benches as well where you can meditate. Now the chapel grounds are free and open every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And another famous photography spot here in Houston is the Teen Hao Taoist Temple. Actually, we only took pictures outside, but I heard there is a koi pond inside. So make sure to check that one out but definitely the entrance is a perfect spot to take pictures. Now, the city of Houston is full of street art and murals, and let me give you some of the sites I was able to visit over the years. So if you love art, 
then Sawyer Yards is where you should be. This creative space is the perfect spot to find studios and galleries or maybe see or even meet local talented artists here in the city of Houston. They also have a farmer's market here every second Saturday of the month. Then they have these beautiful murals on the side of the buildings. And speaking of murals, another street art that you can check out is the Houston is inspired mural. Yeah, so you should definitely add this to your Instagram feed. And we also went to Rice University, which is a beautiful campus to go and explore. You'll see a lot of interesting architecture here. They also have oak trees that look stunning. So you should definitely add this place to your itinerary. Now, if you love visiting theme parks or maybe you love having that ocean view, then you can also visit Kima Boardwalk. Kima Boardwalk is a mini theme park. There are a few rides here, but this is a great spot to get good food as well. Plus, you get this incredible view of Galveston Bay. So it's gonna be an hour, about an hour drive from downtown Houston, but if you are up for the challenge or you wanna go on a little road trip, so this is gonna be one of those side trip experiences that you can do around Houston. And then there's also Lucky Land, where you can learn about Chinese culture and its history. You'll see replicas of some of the most important historical events in China. The park is also open every day except Mondays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Actually, they're open until 6 p.m. on weekends. Now, parking is free and admission is $10 per adult. So I hope I was able to inspire you to visit Houston. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to add them in the comment box below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I would post a new content. You can also stay current on my travels. You can follow me on social media. That's at Angel's Video Diary. Subscribe to my blog, mypurplepages.com. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Hi fellow travelers and it's me, your travel angel. Now in this video, we're heading to New Orleans to celebrate my birthday. Yeah, so what are the things to do and see in New Orleans, Louisiana? Well, allow me to show them to you.